So here we go with the return of a fan favorite menu item over here at Taco Bell for a limited time only. And limited time as in about 15 days, only about two weeks guys to go in on the double decker taco. So for this review I'm going to be doing just that, but not just any old version. I'm definitely going to be hitting up the Supreme variant. So sit tight because it's up next for you. I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Yes, sir. We got a nice little carby situation with this one, guys. Two taco shells, essentially, along with refried beans right there in the middle, separating the two of them. And as you can see, lots of the Taco Bell goodness right there in the middle. Got to say, guys, it's a messy situation. But then again, the flavor is definitely going to be there. Obviously, it's Taco Bell. But as you can see, a nice flour tortilla. And in between, we've got some refried beans separating the main corn tortilla shell on the inside. So let's not waste any more time on this one, guys. We'll get into this. And of course, I'll break it down for you. Guys, it's the returning double decker taco. In this case, the Supreme variant over here at Taco Bell. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Hearty and carby. <laughs> Right off the break, this one is all about the textures, guys. You're getting the softness on the outside of the taco, the crunchiness on the inside, and the nice smooth creaminess of the refried beans. And then naturally, it's all going to be followed up with the Taco Bell goodness on the inside. But guys, I got to say, I'm really liking the fact that the refried beans are kind of like the glue to hold everything together. And then on the inside, you're going to have all the usual goodies. In this case, the seasoned beef, the shredded cheese, the lettuce, the tomato, the reduced fat sour cream. And essentially, it's a taco supreme, just with a little bit of a wrap around the outside, so to speak, with the refried beans and that flour tortilla. And truth be told, I'm actually here for it, guys, because this is actually very easy to eat in the car. You don't have to really kind of worry about things kind of crunching and falling all over the place, aside from the stuff on the very top. But at the same time, again, the nice refried bean action on the inside of this one is really holding everything together nicely, along with that flour tortilla. So well, let's go in for another one. And of course, we're going to go in for a little quickie sauce action with this one. So hang on one sec. Well, here's a better cross-section shot for you, and as you can see, there is plenty of heavy-handed refried bean action right there on the side. It's not exactly evenly distributed, but you can definitely taste it, and it's holding everything together pretty nicely. So, speaking of nicely, today I decided to go with a little bit of fire sauce. So what if I did? Absolutely. Definitely, aside from Diablo, this is my favorite. Let's give this a shot real quick. All right. So let me hopefully keep that focus. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing there. <laughs> it's going down as much as I can do. There we go. Not bad. All right. So it's lathered up slightly right there. Let's go for a couple of bites with it. Mm. Come on. Fire sauce, refried beans, seasoned beef. Nice combo. The cheese action on top of that. And definitely the nice crunchiness of the shell on the inside. Softness on the outside. Nice combination. You know, I gotta say, it's nice to see the return of the Double Decker Taco, considering I believe it went up against the Enchirito and then lost. So naturally, because this is actually a fan favorite, a lot of people do like this particular one. I'm glad they decided to bring it out outside of the Enchirito anyway, which won the contest. It's kind of nice to see that. Let me go for one more on this one. It's all the same flavors from Taco Bell that you know and love. All the same stuff here, so nothing to write home about otherwise. But it's fun to eat, and like I said, it's a textural experience on top of the flavors from Taco Bell, and I dig that. So one more bite, we'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next. But my first and only time really going into the Double Decker Taco, the Supreme version, as an official review here on the channel. I didn't think I'd be doing it, but it's been a minute. Why not? Let's go for one more bite, and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Well, if you're a fan of this guy, you have a lot to look forward to. And like I said, it's very easy to eat, especially in the car, because it's protected with that nice flour tortilla on the outside. Separated with the refried beans, you're getting a nice bit of crunch right there in the middle. And all the classic Taco Bell flavors. Not bad for what this is, guys. Except the price point, however, which we'll talk about in just a second. All right, so with that said, I'm going to have to give the Double Decker Taco Supreme over here at Taco Bell returning for a limited time only just an okay 7 out of 10. I'm not going to go much higher than that, guys, because like I usually say with these Taco Bell reviews that are using familiar ingredients, it's just that, very familiar. It's exactly the same type of thing you'd expect, but at the same time, a lot easier to hold in the hand because of the flour tortilla and that refried bean action that's separating it in there. The only knock against it, however, and like I alluded to earlier, is the price point. The initial Double Decker Taco on its own is $3.49, but the Supreme variant is $4.49, and all you're getting is extra sour cream and basically tomatoes. So it's a little bit of a rip like that, 
And when you consider it's close to $5 after tax for just one, that's definitely a no bueno situation. Considering what that is, guys, I mean, it's definitely not worth that price point. But still, familiar flavor, definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of it already. But still, be prepared for a little sticker shock with this one, depending upon where you live, because the price is definitely elevated on it. Alright, so do me a quick favor like always, drop those comments down below, let me know what you thought of the Double Decker Taco Supreme over here at Taco Bell. Is it your all-time favorite? And if you've given it a shot already, does it taste exactly the same to you? And by the way, how much did you pay for it? Drop some comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do, and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.